In this video, we will be seeing about the series RC circuit. In a series RC circuit, the resistor and capacitor are connected in series across the applied voltage, which is given by Vm sin omega t. So, this is a series circuit. So, the current through resistor as well as capacitor remains the same. So, I have taken I as the reference. What will be the voltage across the resistor? It will be in phase with the current because it is a resistor. If you see the voltage across the capacitor, the capacitor voltage will be lagging behind the current by 90 degree and Vc is equal to Ixc. So, where Xc is equal to 1 by omega c. So, the resultant voltage V is equal to sum of this resistive voltage plus the capacitor voltage. Now, we will draw the voltage triangle for this one. Taking current as reference, Vr will be in phase with a current. And the voltage across the capacitor Vc will be lagging the current by 90 degree which is represented by minus Vc. And the resultant voltage will be V which makes an angle phi with the current I. So, V is equal to Vr minus J into Vc. So, we can find the magnitude of this voltage by taking the square root. So, what is the impedance Z? It is equal to root of R square plus Xc square. Now, we will draw the impedance triangle. So, the resistance here and Xc is actually minus Xc and this is the impedance Z which makes an angle phi. So, for for an RC circuit, this phi will be negative. So, impedance, if we write it in rectangular form, it will be R minus J X C. In polar form, we can write it as Z angle of minus phi. So, if you want to convert rectangular to polar, you know it is the square root of R square plus X C square and phi is equal to tan inverse of minus X C by R. For converting polar to rectangular, same formula, cos phi is r by z and sin phi is minus xc by z. Now, we have to find the power factor. So, the power factor is given by cosine of the angle between voltage and current. So, here between voltage and current angle cos phi is r by z. So, power factor is r by z. And the current leads the voltage by an angle phi. So, it is has a leading power factor. Next, we will draw the power triangle. So, active power P, reactive power will be in opposite direction. So, you will get minus Q and S is the resultant of active power and reactive power. So, S is equal to root of P square plus Q square. If you see the waveform, you can see the voltage waveform starts at 0 whereas current is leading by an angle phi. So, V is Vm sin omega t but I will be sin omega t plus phi so, because it is starting here. So, Im is equal to Vm by z and phi is equal to tan inverse of minus xc by r. So, the points to remember here are V is equal to Vm sin omega t and I equal to Im sin omega t plus phi in case of a RC circuit and the current leads the voltage by an angle phi and the impedance is given by Z is equal to R minus J X C where Z magnitude is given by R square plus X C square and phi is given by tan inverse of minus X C by R. This is the impedance triangle. So, this is the power triangle. The active power is I square R watts. Reactive power is I square XL volt ampere reactive. And apparent power is I square Z volt ampere. Let us do some problems. 
for an rc circuit the supply voltage and the current is given we have to find the value of resistance reactance and impedance so the given data is v and i you have to find what is z so let us convert this into polar form first so that it will be easy for division if you have calculator directly do the division in rectangular form so v is equal to the magnitude will be real part square plus imaginary part square then take the square root so it comes to 100 phi is tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part so we got v and phi so voltage is equal to 100 angle of 36.9 degree then we will find for current i is equal to 4 square plus 10 square then take the square root so you got the magnitude of current then angle is 10 minus of 4 so when you get tan inverse of negative angle you do subtract from 180 degree 180 degree minus that angle will give you the actual angle so we got v and i now you divide it you will get the voltage uh, divided by current will give you 9.28 angle of minus 74.9 degree that is you are subtracting these two angle now let us convert this into rectangular form so what is the real part this magnitude into cos of this one and uh, imaginary part is equal to this magnitude into sin of this one so you will get r and xl value from this one now let us see another problem so for a series rc circuit with a resistor 50 ohms in series with a 100 microfarad capacitor the supply voltage is given we have to find the value of reactance and impedance and also calculate the power factor voltage across the resistor and capacitor so what is given voltage is given 100 volt and 50 hertz ac supply it is given then resistance value and capacitor value is given so let us uh, find what is xc first because c is given xc is 1 by divided 1 by omega c so that i can write it as 1 by 2 pi f into c so 2 into pi is 3.414 into 50 capacitor value microfarad so it is 10 power minus 6 and if you know xc you can find what is z z is equal to root of r square plus xc square r is given xc we have found so you will get the magnitude of the impedance what is power factor cos phi is equal to r by z so power factor is 0.843 voltage across the resistor is equal to i into r and voltage across the capacitor is i into xc so you have to find what is i first what is i v by z what is v v is given as 100 ohm 100 volt divided by impedance is 59.3 so if you divide it you will get 1.686 so from this you can find what is vr and vc so we got the resistor voltage across the resistor and capacitor so these are the answers so if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you